Hi everyone, I hope you are doing well. It's Rosine from Valued Women with more tips for you. So, last week we spoke about slowing down whilst you're having a break, summer or winter. And um, it's almost like you've done a reset. You know when your computer kind of bugs, what you do is just shut it down, reset it, and then phew, all fresh. And that's kind of what you're doing to your body and your mind. So let's keep that in mind. And that kind of slow refresh is means a quieter mind, a quiet time with less work, less activities, and, and also being in a different scenery, like in a different place, which really triggers different parts of your brain that you can't really get when you're sitting at your desk or working from home trying to do, you know, 10 things at the same time. So this time is a perfect time to look back at what you've done. And I want you to do a done list. You've heard about the to-do list and I'm sure you all have one with lots of things on it. And let's be honest with each other. None of us can actually get to the end of that list because we keep adding on to it. Personal, professional, from everywhere. Uh, even the fun things, we have to put them on our to-do list just in case we forget to have a bit of fun. So the done list is looking at your achievements from the past few months and weeks and realizing how far you've come and being proud of that. It's easy to get down to, you know, the things that you need to do and being stressed about it. But if you don't actually appreciate the journey and all that you've done up until now, you know, there's not much point in, in going any further. So let's look at that first, you know, your done list, what you've achieved and what you're proud of. Now, I wanted to look at goals as well today. Can I be a little bit more specific? Because we tend to set our goals and intention, you know, at the beginning of the year in January. And then, you know, we go and do them. And maybe the first month is super powerful. And then it kind of drags on. And maybe we're not as committed to them as much. The majority of us. I'm sure some of you are amazing and follow your goals through. And it's, you know, it's perfectly reviewed regularly for work, but are they kind of regularly reviewed uh, in your personal life? That's something that, you know, I want to talk about today. Um, and, you know, again, being in a relaxed kind of different scenery will, will help you see all that you've achieved and also look forward from a place of calm and have a bit more space for what is to come. So I want today, I want to share with you how you can review your goals um, and I want, you know, I want to talk about your professional goals, obviously, but also your personal goals, because this, you know, this is, this is massively important. You know, you not, you don't just live for your work, you live to have a fulfilled life, but also outside of work. And that's something we, we, we shouldn't forget about. So first step, if you've had some goals in January, if you've set them, uh, review them. Now, one thing you need to be careful of is instead of holding on to what you could have done, take action to what you can do now, okay? Add them on, push them forward if they make sense. So review them and check your progress against these goals, right? N remember, no judgment, non-attachment. You've had circumstances that made that you may not have been able to achieve them or maybe they didn't make sense at the time to achieve and that's okay. But now is the time to review them. What's working, what's not? And assess if it makes sense to carry them forward, okay? That's your first step. And remember that non-judgment, non-attachment. Second step is identify your goals for the rest of the year by being very clear about what they are. And I know a lot of you will be super clear in terms of goals that you want from your job if you're happy at work. And you'll have guidance from your manager or your, or your colleagues on how to do that. But I also want to focus on your personal goals. And these personal goals can be around your health, around changing career, around... Um, spending more time with the family, around, you know, catching up with your best friend at least once a month, improve your listening skills, anything that really kind of makes you more connected and happy and fulfilled. Um, and by the way, if you want to change your job, I'm here to help you. So send me an email at rosine at valuedwomen.co.uk and I can definitely help you looking onto that. If you are wondering whether now is the right time, Absolutely. Do not wait because, you know, if you're unhappy where you are, there's no point in waiting any longer. So come and see me. Now, um, I think the important bit as well is when you write down your goals, they should feel exciting. They should not feel like, oh, I'm dreading this. I know I need to do this, but I'm really scared. Because maybe your body is telling you that actually it's not the right goal for you. Maybe there is something else out there that will truly make you happy, fulfilled, living on purpose and that you'll actually enjoy doing it. So there's more 
excitement and fear, right? So we all always talk about this line between the fear and excitement and you're, you should be more towards the excitement. So check in on that. That's your second step, right? Identify your goals for the rest of the year until end of December. Third step is to create a plan, okay, for what, uh, for moving forward and how you're going to achieve your goals. And for each goal, I would like you to write down an action either every week or every month that will bring you closer to that goal. Because it's all well and nice to have a goal. You're, oh yeah, end of December, I will have done that. But if you don't do anything to achieve it or if you don't plan to do things to get towards that point, you'll never get there. So it's about planning to split this into mini milestones so that you get there. Also feeling less stressed because, you know, tiny action every week is okay as opposed to a huge thing on the, you know, 25th of December after Christmas, realizing you've only got a week to kind of sort this out. So I hope that made sense. Three steps, review your goals, set up the new ones and put a plan together to achieve them. Let me know how you get on. I cannot wait to see what goals you've got. You know, feel free to share your goals in the comment. Uh, or email me again, rosine at valuedwomen.co.uk, so um, I can be there to cheer you on. Take care, and I look forward to speaking again soon. Cheers.